Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today we are making Chicago dogs. But here's the thing, I have to put just a little bit of a Boise spin to it. So here's the deal, to make a true Chicago dog you have to use Vienna products, right? Well, I don't want to have 10 packages of Vienna hamburger buns in my freezer and I don't want 30 packages of hot dogs in my freezer. So I had to use what I found locally, which is basically brioche buns. But we are going to put some poppy seed on them. And I did find some Nathan's hot dogs, which are very similar. So let's get this thing started. Super simple. Gonna just take our hot dogs, cut them up. Right, just like that. No big deal. Now over here, I've got a thing of water and it's just about boiling and the reason why I'm doing it in this is because well I kind of want to give it that effect of let's say we're downtown hanging out you know like I remember when I went to the airport in Chicago they had a thing of boiling water there so I'm just gonna put the hot dogs into the boiling water sorry about that just like that and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take two of these buns. Now what I love about brioche buns is they just got a killer flavor to them, right? They do. And they're split down the middle versus the side. So, <clears throat> so to get around the not being able to have a poppy seed, I'm going to do this. I'm going to just lay a little bit of mayo onto each one. And it's probably almost too much, right? And just kind of coat it like this. So you get it like that. Now right now I'm only doing one side, and I'll show you why here in a moment. So there we go. Got the other one set. Now I have some poppy seeds here. Just going to lightly flick some over it. Because I don't want to I don't want to overpower it. I'm not sure poppy seeds have crazy gas amount of flavor anyways. Oh, see, a little too much there, but that's okay. So next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna put them down onto the Cuisinart, give them a little smash. Because from what I understand, one of the things that we want with a Chicago dog is a toasted bun. So this is gonna toast the bun and it's also going to make the poppy seeds stick. All right guys, we'll be right back when we're getting ready to flip the buns. So while the top's cooking, right, we're just gonna take the rest of our mayonnaise and put it over the bottom part, add a little bit more of our poppy seeds to it and now it's time for a flip I like what I'm seeing so far this looks awesome these are not going to take very long at all guys that was like maybe a minute and a half all right so this has been about another minute looking good just going to open it up Ooh, these are warm and get them a little toasty inside maybe Whew, warm not going to take very long guys at all because I think honestly these are so close to being done I think I'm going to pull them now you know what would go well with these we're waiting for the hot dogs to finish but I think it's time for a white Russian so I'm going to show you guys how the dude makes a white Russian and while we're doing this I wanted to tell you guys also did you know that we have a talk show now on the dude's kitchen and grill and it's every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. mountain 9 p.m. Eastern we have guests on we talk about current events trends uh, we have the white Russian cam did I mention guests we have a lot of guests on actually they're a lot of fun too we've had Chris on I mean Chris from Eastwood Farms, uh, you name it guys, and you know that guy's crazy, right? He's a lot of fun. So anyhow, that is the Dude's Kitchen and Grills Wednesday night barbecue and talk show on YouTube every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mountain, 9 p.m. Eastern. All right, guys. That's how I make a white Russian right there. And don't forget, on the barbecue talk show, we have uh, the white Russian cam. That's good. 
I think our hot dogs are ready, so let's get back to them. Let's take the hot dogs out. We're just going to drip them off. Put the first one down. Let it drip off a little bit. Put the second one down. Now, according to my handy dandy little book, which is right here, because when I bought the Vienna Chicago Relish and the Sports Peppers, which I can't get either one here, they gave me this little book. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put yellow mustard down. All right, the next thing, Chicago's Chicago style green relish. Ooh, that has an amazing smell to it. I'm telling you guys, amazing smell. Got a great look to it too. Next thing we want is some chopped onions. I'm gonna put over it. I've had Chicago dogs a couple times. Man, they are hands down my favorite. Next thing we want is tomato wedges. Put a nice tomato wedge right in there. Right in there. A kosher spear. Man, I don't know how this is all gonna come together. But look at that. Liking it, liking it already. Oh my god. Two sports peppers each. I know you're asking, dude, why did you make two? Well, this one's for you. And last but not least, celery salt. Dab a little bit over. Those look awesome. I can hardly wait to dig into these things, guys. You saw how we made it. Super easy. We've got extra hot dogs there. Say like we were having a party or whatever. I'd have enough hot dogs for everybody. Come on over, guys. Time to try this thing. Mmm. I take that back, guys. You're not welcome over here. I'm going to eat all these. Oh my gosh, guys. So good. Hmm. Everything comes together on this. The pickle. The sports pepper. The dog. The relish. The onions. I mean, everything. You get all of it. And the texture out of this world guys all right guys i hope you like this and if you did please remember to like subscribe comment ring that bell for notifications share recipe is down below guys these are the best dogs i have ever made i may never go back to eating a different type of dog ever all right guys i am going back to eating this i'm gonna eat this whole thing remember the dude abides this time with a chicago dog talk to you later guys Mm-hmm.